In this video, what we're going to do is go over how to connect to connect and how to make sure that you're doing the readings and answering all the questions uh, for the assignments. You may have a course, whatever course it is, you'll see a thing that says McGraw-Hill Connect. You click on that. And the first time you go there, it's going to ask you to authorize uh, the connect and being able to get into it. Go ahead and authorize it. From then on, it's going to say, you know, go to my connect section. You click on go to my connect section. And it'll eventually come up. And where it'll ask you to confirm. So we'll go ahead and confirm for the first time. You then have a series of, of assignments that need to be completed. To complete any of the assignments, as far as the readings and completing the questions, you click on the little arrow, and it'll tell you what you have going on, when it's due, and that sort of thing, and to begin. When you begin, it's going to tell you when it's due, the estimated time that it'll take to go through this, and the number of concepts that need to be understood and answered correctly. You'll see that you can go ahead and start reading the text, or you can start answering the questions if you're familiar with the material. One of the things I suggest is go ahead and start reading the text and at least skim through it. As you go through the text, it will have things that are already highlighted, key things that you need to be understanding and remember for the chapter and for the information. When you're ready to answer some questions, you go to questions and it'll tell you some of the, give you some of the tips as far as making progress and things like this. You'll see that you have a series of bars up here. Each of those bars represents two questions that need to be completed correctly. And so you will be given a series of questions in a random fashion, and it will show how many of these concepts you have mastered as you go through this. So if you answer a question, and then what you do is you identify what confidence level you have for that answer. If you get it correct, you'll see that you get a little bar on there. What needs to happen is you need to answer the, the questions that go along with that concept twice in order to fill out all the bars. You have to fill out all the bars to get the total points for the assignment. If you stop and you have not completed all of the bars and answering all the questions, you don't get full points for the assignment. You might get half, you might get less than that. So then you go to the next question. And it talks about some of these things here. And you select one and rate how confident you are with it. And in this case, it was incorrect. So at that point, you can go back to the reading to see about it, or you can go to the next question, and you'll see you did not get a bar. So you go to the next question. And we hold on to these things, and let's say we have low. We got it correct, okay, and we got a bar on there. So in answering the questions and doing the readings, you have to go through all of these things in order to get the full points. Now, you can exit the assignment at some point in time, and you will be able to pick up where it was that you left off. So you don't have to do it all in one sitting. You can do it in multiple sittings if you need to. So that's basically how you go about doing the readings and answering the questions. If you have questions, give me a shout.